Hello my friends, my name is Dancraft73 and welcome back to another episode of One Man, One Mod where we're trying to learn everything that we can about astral sorcery and we've figured out a couple things. Uh, first of all, we figured out that a resonating wand um, will make you sad. <laughs> Let's go find a little bit of flint. Uh, we want to go to the mind dimension. We are running version one dot. Zero one of the pack. Um, Teddy gave us a little bit of an update. Fixed the mining dimension. There were some problems there. Uh, made building gadgets work. You know, just did the stuff that Teddy does. Let's um, let's fix our inventory here real quick before we go off rolling around and getting too excited. Yeah, there's some potatoes there. We'll just let those go. I'm not too worried about it. I really should shut my door. Oh, that guy's planting. He's taking care of business over there. Thank you, guy. All right, so we have a chest. Let's dump lots of stuff away. Um, like that. That'll be good. We want our book. Um, obviously we want food. Um, we have a pick. We have a sword. We have an axe. We have a shovel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we got to go find a piece of flint because we're heading to the mine dimension today because we've got to find some uh, diamonds ASAP. Uh, we also have some other stuff that we want to make today for sure, but let's get ourselves the mining dimension portal fired up. And then we just gotta start thinking about a base. Hmm. What do you guys suggested that I can maybe make a base like up in the sky? Like um I don't know, something all fancy. I don't know, let's see what we can find here. Oh! The stick of truth. Oh my goodness. Okay. What do we use the stick of truth for? I don't know. I don't know. And we also have a ridiculous amount of... Ca That's that add-on, whatever that is. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, we have lots of cakes now. No place to put them, really. We gotta have. We gotta make a chest. I mean, we could eat them, for short. Man, Zaloy would love this, wasn't he? Wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. <laughs> Oh, man. I didn't even realize that that was going to happen. Dang it. Messing me up, game. All right. Let's go and put these away in a chest somewhere. Yes, yeah, so we'll go down here. We always come in here the wrong way. Okay. Uh, do I have any wood? I do. Okay. So let's go and make another chest. That we'll use for cakes. Mm hmm. I don't know where we'll put it. Over here in the corner, maybe? There. This will be the cake chest. That's a lot of cakes right there. That's no joke. Okay. And the stick of truth can go in there. We'll put that in there. That in there. Okay. We need one of these. All right. So we need to make this mining thing. Whatever this guy is. So we need a that. We need a stone pickaxe. We need some stone bricks and a stick. Okay. So we'll get this... Um, we've got these guys coming, which we can convert into stone picks, like so. And then we need a couple pieces of cobblestone. One, two, three, like that. Okay, and we'll make a stone pick. Okay. And then we need a flint and steel, which is the reason I went to get flint in the first place. We'll get that, and like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Okay, and now uh, we could take this and go like this, I believe, right? And go like that. And take this with us. Now, I guess it really... We need to get an idea for a base sooner than later. I mean, we can always move this portal. Yeah, let's just get the portal in the ground. And then we'll kind of go from there. One, two, three, four. One, two... Oh, you know what I did? Options. Uh, controls. That. Done. Done. There. Okay. Okay, and then we just need to do this. All right. Yeah, I do know you have to sneak in through it. And then let's go in our house and get some things. Let's get some of this, first of all. And we have some sticks. Let's get this guy and bring it with us. We do not need this thing anymore. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So we want to get go to the portal. We need to set up a mine. How are we doing for torches? Man, we're not great. Uh, we should. I bet we have some in here. Let's go make sure. 
yeah, okay. So that'll get us down to mining to diamond level at least. So let's go over to the mining dimension. Oh look, it's grass. I love that. Teddy. Man, he's always doing something crazy. <laughs> it's oh yeah, there's marble. Yeah. Didn't used to be marble in the mining dimension, but now there is. So that's amazing. Let's go down here. I will use this pre-made cave already dug for us. Huh. Oh. Oh. oh, good grief. I don't know how, why we don't have that, that one thing. What am I looking at or whatever it is? Like Wayla? Unless I've turned it off somehow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> man, there's like 47 creepers over there. Oh my goodness, run away. Run away. Run away. Are they still coming? Okay. Oh. I mean, I made the. That's dirty. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, please go up here out of the way. Mm -hmm. There's some iron, which we'll take. All right. You're dead. Okay, Mr. Creeper. Okay. That's exhausting. Okay. I guess that's clay. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm down with that. Alright, so we gotta get a mine, mine shaft going to get all the way down to diamond level for sure. I wanna grab a little bit of this stuff. I think what I'm gonna do, just because it's not super fun, and we just did all the fun stuff, you know, dodging and weaving and um, all that kind of stuff to try to avoid getting attacked by creepers. Um, yeah. So I just want to go and get a like a mine shaft down to diamond level. Okay, and I want to grab this little bit of iron that we have around here. Yeah, so I don't know why we don't have that thing. Uh, whatever that... We found a couple diamonds, didn't we, now that I think about it. Hmm. We should go make sure that we don't have enough diamonds already. I'm pretty sure we don't. But we should go check that out and see. I mean, we also... I mean, that's cool. Marble. Down with marble. Yeah. I mean, I like marble a lot. I mean, we might be able to make some, like, fancy base kind of design with some marble. Um, I, no, didn't we say we were going to make, like, a wizard tower? I mean, I think that's what I really would like to do. People, like, trying to steal my ideas. <laughs> I mean, not really. All right, so let me get a mine shaft down to diamond level, and I'll do a little bit of mining. I think, actually, before we do that, let's make a quick little run back over through the portal and into our home. Let's go into our house real quick. Um, because I think... All right, so I, literally, I need one diamond, and then I can get some of those crystals. All right, so I'm going to do some mining. Uh, I really would like to have some more sticks with me, I think, just in case. So I've got this and this. Okay, make those. Put these away. Okay. Yeah. All right, everybody's good here. Put you, you, you away. You, no, you. Uh, where's my, this? Okay. You can go in there and do the things that you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to get myself a portal down to mining level. I can go work through the night, doesn't bother me. And Or to diamond level, not to mining level, to diamond level. And then I'll bring you back whenever, if, if I can find some diamonds, because I'd really like to get some of those crystals, if possible. We have one more marker to uncover. 
Um, so I think we can maybe do that. And then um, we're gonna make we're gonna do some more astral sorcery type stuff, I think. Yeah. All right, let me get to work and I'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Man, I did some mining. I found like some, um, like an amazing cave. Like it just went on forever, um, way down at diamond level. I mean, it's a good ways down that way. I mean, I'm sure we'll show it again before we're done um, with this series. But um, there were like no offshoots, which was pretty cool. It was just like a, you know, a nice little cave. And I got a bunch of iron. I got some diamonds. Uh, I had found a couple diamonds before I hit that, but I just kept going on a little bit further. Um, have lapis and redstone and a little bit more gold and I've got a bunch more of this stuff no more diamonds but I do have a, a lot more iron and some gold and some other little pieces parts redstone uh, back at the base so it was pretty productive it didn't take too long I did have to come back here because my pick broke and I hadn't found diamonds yet so this was actually the third pick and I had an extra one right there. So just to keep you up to speed so you know what I know. Uh, but yeah, so we got some iron. We're going to add this to that pile. Uh, we got some more gold. Yeah. Uh, now we have nine diamonds. We have a little bit more redstone. Yep. Um, I also, while I was up here earlier, I went and uh, chopped a tree down. Hello, <laughs> crazy guy. Um, I, I chopped a couple trees down and got some more wood because I was quickly running out of... Um, space so uh, let's go ahead and put some stuff away we just have to remember to come back uh, on all of this stuff and uh, do the things okay so I want to go uh, while it's daytime let's get uh, another couple pieces of wood and let's get our three diamonds we'll make a diamond pick so we can go down and we can get ourselves um, some of those crystals see what we end up with there so let's get this and this and make this okay and I'm gonna go ahead and burn through these iron picks on my way down I think it's fine I don't think there's any reason why we we wouldn't want to do that okay so oh no I just remembered so um, what happens every month dang it I should have copied my journey map folder over every month Teddy gives me like a preview copy of the pack because I have to record episode one before anyone else gets access to it. Um, so that means... Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's zombies chasing our friends around. Um, so Teddy gives me a preview copy of the pack. And episode one, um, and usually episode two, are made in that preview pack. And then I go and install the one from Curse. Because if Teddy does any updates to it or whatever, I want to make sure I get those. And I forgot to copy my journey map files over... So that's a little bit irritating. I tell you what we will do, though, um, until nighttime when we can go mark some more of those crystal places, and we'll do it that way. Yeah, I was wondering why I didn't have my waypoints. I don't think we're really missing anything uh, too exciting, other than the fact that we did have some of those crystal places. But that's okay. Um, so what we're going to do, we need to get our astral tome out, uh, because we are going to make our uh, luminous crafting table. Okay? It's pretty simple. It's some marble of any type, and it's a piece of sooty marble and a crafting bench. So I think we can make that pretty easily. We have some good marble. We have some of this. And sooty marble, let me just make sure I understand how to make that, is... I don't think we need to have that in... I don't think. Let's see if we can do it like this. I don't think we need to have it actually in the crafting table. No, we don't. Okay, so now if we want to make the luminous crafting table. Okay, are you not going to tell me? Okay. So we got to make one of these really quick. Okay, so it's like this, right? This, that, and then three pieces of marble. Should be any type. Hmm. No? Um, can we go like... Does it matter what it is? Okay. I don't think it matters. It just has to be like some kind of marble. Or does it have to be three different types? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any marble in here or do we get rid of it all? We did. Okay, so let's go and make like two of these. And then I guess we can make like some of these. Now, let's see if this works. If we can go like that, 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 and that. 
Okay. Uh, this is not that's really the first thing to be placed up somewhere. Okay. All right. We need to understand how to make it first of all. The Luna's crafting table solves both issues perfectly by being made of the purest marble. It's able to absorb and retain a much larger. Also, I wonder if we have to make it on that thing. Oh, no. In order to craft the luminous crafting table, the table must be right-clicked with a resonating wand after them so the rest of be placed in it. What? Hold on a second here. Using a regular crafting table to interact with the st Okay. The team. Using a regular crafting table to interact with the starlight emitted by the shrine crystal, which you have named collector crystals, due to how they gather starlight, seems to be inefficient. The table is only able to. to okay. The luminous crafting table solves both issues perfectly by being made of the purest marble, and it is able to absorb and retain a much larger amount of starlight. Also, it does not require a connection to a collector's crystal. Okay, so I wonder. Okay, so I, I maybe I wish I knew where that place was. Is it getting to be nighttime? No, I think we have some time. All right, so we got to go. Um, I want to say uh, this way. I'm trying to remember. So we got to go. Yeah, we got to go this way. We got to find this. I mean, we've already been here. We have to find that shrine. Right? So, because I think we have to craft this thing only in the shrine? Where is that, like, weird, like, outcropping of rock? Yeah, okay, so it's this way. Hopefully we can get over here and back before it turns night. <laughs> I mean, even if we don't, do we have a resonating wand? No, we need to come back and get that. So let's hightail it over here quick to this shrine. And we'll see if we can't make this luminous crafting table. I don't remember this being required, but maybe it it was. Okay. Where is the shrine? It's over here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we got like sand or something, I think. Yeah. Okay. So now, if I go like this, this, and this, yes. Okay. Yeah. Alright. There we go. We knew. I knew what was happening. <laughs> I knew that all the time. Yeah, boy. Alright, so we just had to, to stop being dumb, and then we knew how to make it. So, we need the shrine for that. Now we just need to head back to our home, which is right, yep, we're going the right direction, and get our wand, and then at night we're going to go running around, we're going to get a little bit away from our base, because we're trying to keep our villager friends alive, and we may need them down the road, who knows, uh, but we're going to do some running around, and we may get out of the desert, I think actually we're going to do that, we're going to get out of the desert and do some running around, and see if we can't find a couple spots for some crystals let's hightail it over here quick man I'm glad we got that made you guys are probably telling me um, as you're watching it you know some of you guys talk about how um, I induce uh, like uh, what's the word um, <laughs> like uh, heart failure or uh, something you guys get all riled up saying that I make all this make you guys like go crazy and I don't think that's true at all. But whatever. Alright, so we want to run over this way to get in the plains, I think, is where we want to. And as soon as it gets to be nighttime, we should be able to see some of these areas. 
And then, as long as we're far enough away from the village, the villagers won't get uh, owned up by zombies and stuff like that. And hopefully there'll be a couple less mobs over here, maybe. The desert is sketchy at night. Super, super sketchy. Okay. So here we are in the thing, in the plains. Now, we just have to wait until we start seeing, like, cool things shooting up out now i think there's also if i remember correctly like occasionally we're gonna find us like a like a big star field maybe that's not this wand i don't know we'll see what happens okay let's let it get to be night yeah there's that big shrine right over there that's amazing okay why do i not see any sparklies ah there's one okay so we're gonna go over here we're going to get right on top of this little sparkly thing. Like right here. We're going to go B and just save. Okay. There's a zombie. Okay. And we're going to go... Right here. B. Save. Okay. And we'll know that these are all crystal areas. Okay, and then right here, be safe. Okay, so there's three. That'll be good for now, I think. I mean, I don't know if the... I don't think those are like big veins of crystals. All right, now we want to... Uh, we want to be a little careful, I think. Oh, hey, there's a spider. Keep running. Yeah, not too many of these things around here. Hello, don't knock me into a hole, guy. Okay. Mm. Seems like I'm getting kind of robbed here on these little, like, sparkly things. And we got a couple spots over there, which is really good. So we're going to go and sleep through the night. And then we're going to repeat essentially what we did in yesterday's episode. Um, except this time, we're actually going to have a diamond pick, and I think we'll be able to harvest those things, which is going to be amazing. So, we've already made good progress today. We've made the luminous crafting table, and... Oh my goodness, I have to get into my house past all these mobs. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, go in the house. Sleep. Hi. Okay, sleep. Okay. <laughs> That's dirty. That's dirty. Okay, so it's daytime now. Let me clean up. I tell you what, let me clean up around the base here. Kill up all these uh, guys, and I'll bring you back. And we're gonna go on a search for more crystals for sure. Hello, hiya, you're dead. Okay, I saw a husk coming around here. So let me do this. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. All right, we're gonna head over here to these mark. Oh. I I just, I just like wasn't even paying attention to that guy. I uh, just walked right by him, not even thinking that he was a bad guy. Now we're slowed, but that's okay. That dude's dead. All right, so we're gonna go find our first one of these little markers that we made in the night, and see if we can't grab ourselves one of these crystals. All right, let's see what the deal is. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one we do, as long as we just, I guess, we just pick one. We'll pick the first one that we come across, like this green one right here. Okay. Okay. Alright, before we get down too far, let's divide this. Let's stand right here in the middle. I'm going to use this guy. Okay. Use these iron picks first. Oh, there's some marble. Sweet. We need that. So we'll gather up all this marble on our way down for sure. Oh, yeah. There's a ton. Uh, we want it all. We're going to need as much marble as we can possibly get. I mean, we might not need it right now, but we're certainly going to need it in the coming episodes. So when we see it, we might as well just spend a few seconds to gather up whatever marble we can. Uh, we have to make, uh, eventually, we're going to have to make altars and stuff. 
as part of this pack. So let's just get it done. If we need marble, let's snatch it up. Okay, that's probably enough though. <laughs> we do want to find some of these crazy crystals. All right, so let's keep going down. And we got to go, remember, we have to go all the way down to the bottom of the world. So that's like why, I mean, we still have a good ways to go, but let's keep on going. If we find any minerals or any good stuff, we're going to snatch those up for sure. Just keep going down. All right, there's 37. Okay, we should be getting close. 23, yeah, we're getting there. any lava okay all right so this should be right around here somewhere right there perfect okay so now let's get this yeah rock crystals nice okay any more nope I guess not all right, so we got two, though, and that's pretty good. That was a fair amount of work just to get those two. We need to uh, probably get more than that, but that's probably enough for now. Um, let's see what we could do with these. I mean, we could do all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, I do want to get back to our little house over here. Oh, that's that thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we do have a spot for a couple more crystals that... Uh, if we need them, we can come and get them for sure. But we got two, which is pretty amazing. Oops. Um. Oh, okay. All right, let's get up here. Perfect. All right, then we have a couple more, but that's that should be good for now. Let's eat something, and we'll head back to the base. But we do need to put down our celestial altar, and we need to see what the book tells us because the book is going to start giving us some hints on where we need to go next. Um, I think there is—I can't remember what it is. It's some sort of a qu um, item that you have to make, and I don't think it's the resonating wand. I mean, we use this resonating wand for other things, but I believe there's like a well. We'll let's just get back over here and we'll take a look. Um, we accomplished really two of our goals that we wanted to get done today. We certainly got those knocked out. One was create the uh, our first uh, uh, deal, um, our luminous crafting table. So we got that squared away. And then the second thing was to be able to find some diamonds so we could get some rock crystals. And we certainly did that as well. So I'm pretty happy with what we took care of today. Now we just need to go take a look at our book and see where we go from here. So... Let's go in the house. Hello, villager friends. Yeah, we'll shut the door. All right, let's see. All right, so we got exploration done. And exploration gives us a whole bunch of cool stuff. Infused woods, light wells, cave illuminators, which is pretty sweet for sure. A sextant, uh, grindstone, etc. Okay, but I want to look at research. Where is the other one? Discovery. Okay. Okay. So we got these ores. Yeah, we did all that. So maybe we're done um, there. Let me go back. Oh, here. All right. So we did marble. We did all the different kinds of marbles. The luminous crafting table. Okay. So maybe we are starting needing to get into the discovery. Or, I mean, not discovery, research. Or exploration. Okay. All right. So we have infused wood. We have fossic. I think this is the thing. 
It's impossible to turn the magnitude to start emitting a given area. Yes, yeah, so we gotta make this thing eventually. This little guy. Um, so we gotta find a starlight field. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make infused wood. As infusing materials with liquid starlight empowers them, the versatility of strength. Okay. Infused wood. Leaving it to soak in liquid starlight seems to have a different absorption pattern. Okay. Okay. I don't know what we do with all this stuff. Okay. And then a light well. Or maybe this is what we make first. Where does it start, I wonder? Here? I guess all this stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. I think we have to make the light well. At night, a strange crystalline liquid seems to collect on aquamarine gems and rock crystals. On closer examination, this, the liquid is a con condensate of pure energy derived from starlight. A carefully. So we need. Ah, yeah. So we got a rock crystal. We got to make one of these guys a light well. Okay. In order to use the light well, an aquamarine gem or okay. You cannot help but wonder if other materials in a light well would produce other liquids. Okay, so we make the thing, and then we can do some of this stuff. Crystal tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I think what we're going to do is probably call this episode right here because I don't want to get in the middle of something and then have to come back and not be able to finish it. So I think what we're going to do next time is we're going to make our light well. We're going to get that set up. We're going to start taking a look at that. We're going to make some of that infused wood stuff. We're going to try to find that star field thing. If we can get all that done next time, we're going to be in good shape. So from my One Man One Mod series, where we're trying to learn everything that we can about astral sorcery and hanging out with our friendly villager friends, uh, until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.